<laughs> Lighting can make or break a room, and while you can spend thousands on artisan fixtures, there's another way to make your room look cool and easily change up the ambient lighting. Try using smart lights. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com for Spy.com, and I'm a huge fan of color-changing smart lights because the color effects alone can make a room seem warmer and more inviting or cooler and airier. No time or budget to fully redecorate? You can essentially paint with colored light. The newest smart light I got my hands on is the Govi Glide 3D Hexagon Light Kit. In this review, I'll look at what these light panels are and what they can do, how they work and their special features, and if I can recommend them for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what exactly is this kit? The Govi Glide 3D Hexagon is the newest iteration of Govi's popular Hexa light panels. The kit is made up of 10, or you can get 7, flat plastic hexagon shaped LED light panels. They connect to each other with flexible wires and they can be laid out in dozens of cool shapes. They'll light up an area or change color for a full light up wall art installation. This version adds a new pseudo 3D lighting effect thanks to each panel being divvied up to resemble a box shape, where the colors may be slightly different across the three sides of each panel, making them look a little more 3D. Once installed, you can play with different colorscapes, use it to brighten a dark room, add some wow to your gaming area, or use it as a cool backdrop. The colors and lighting designs are adjustable and customizable, and you can choose from Govi's vast lighting library or create your own colors and patterns. So what's in the box? In the box here you get 10 Govi 3D light panels plus a handful of connectors, and it's important to note these have two different ends. We'll get to why in a few minutes. You also get your power supply with an on-off box, a small level, and some adhesive pads. I was a bit worried about the adhesives. They're not branded as 3M command strips that will pull cleanly off your wall, but after some digging, I found out that Govi says they are indeed designed to come off the wall without removing your paint, so I went ahead with my installation. Let's talk about that setup and installation process. Getting these in was a bit confusing, I'll say initially, but I caught on fast and I'm sure you will too. First, you'll need the Govi app. It's going to help you choose a design for the panels, then it'll walk you through connecting each panel to create your chosen design. Now, this is not a simple matter of just sticking the panels to the wall and being done with it. Each panel actually connects in a slightly different way, so you really do need to follow the app to get your design to look right. After choosing the design you want, the app will give you step-by-step -step instructions. You need to plug in the power supply first and get it connected to the app so that's paired. Then you'll start the installation. I chose to put my lights in my home office and place them in a narrow area beside my desk. The app will ask you to choose your first panel and then connect it to the power supply. On the back of each panel are several markings, a triangle and then a series of numbers. Now the triangle is always going to be your power in and you need to make sure you're using the end of the wire with the triangle marked on it. The other slots are going to be your connection out to the next panel. Finally, there's a series of grooves in the back of each panel too. These grooves are where your wires will feed out and it's possible your power out will start in one place on the back of the panel while the cable will run out a different slot. The app will tell you exactly which cable slots to connect to and where to run the cable and then it'll always go into the next panel using that triangle slot. Hopefully this is making sense. So I'm going to do my best here to explain what's happening. The app is going to tell you where to connect on the back of each panel. Now you're always going to use the leading edge, the out, and that's got a triangle on it, it's always going to go into the triangle slot on the back of the panel. And these are clearly marked. You can see that's the triangle there. And then the rest of these all have numbers. So there's both a number for, I'll just take this mounting bracket off. There's a number for where you connect and it's 135 essentially. And then there's 
grooves or little slots in the panel where the cord might run out. So each panel is going to be different. That's kind of what makes it seem confusing. But once you get the hang of it, it's really not. So we're going to connect this one into the back through the triangle panel and it lights up. You can see it works. The next clue they give is all of the green sections on this are going to be pointing in the same direction. So we know that will be up. In the meantime, we're going to get the next cable connected. And what the app wants us to do here is to connect the next one out through the five and then run the cable through the six. So out through the five, cable through the six. Hopefully you guys can see that and hopefully that's starting to make sense. Out through the five, which is here, and make sure we're using our non-triangle end of the cable. Out through the five, cable through the six, which is over here. And then we're gonna put our mounting bracket back on. Get that lined up. And then make sure the green part is oriented correctly and then get these lined up and then press and hold this into place for 30 seconds so that the adhesive has time to stick. It's been a few years since I tried a similar lighting kit to this and the last one I tried was Nanoleaf. Nanoleaf lighting panels at that time used basically just adhesive stuck straight to the back of the panels, which did make them kind of tough to remove and reconfigure if you wanted to. Govi instead uses little brackets that will actually clip onto the back of the lights and not just that adhesive stuck to the back of the panels. This is a genius idea. This means you can take the panel off without unsticking them so you can make adjustments if you need. I had all my lights up and installed in about 20 minutes. Now with the lights ready, it was time to have some fun. Using the app, you can load up different color palettes or special effects. The Govi app is actually pretty easy to navigate and to use, and while it looks like there's a lot going on here, it's easy to find your way around. Plus, experimenting with these lights is half the fun. I quite like the 3D effect of these new panels. They definitely add another dimension to the light show. You can set your lights to run on a timer or to turn on and off at certain times of day. You can adjust the brightness and the brightest setting is actually pretty bright. You can also opt to have your lights synchronized to music or to voices and that's what's happening here in the background. And the sensitivity of this is actually fully adjustable. If you prefer just straight up color, you can have that too. You can choose from Govi's different scenes which will kind of paint the panels with different colors and designs for you or you can choose the ability to have a different color on every single light panel if that's what you want. You can also choose warm tones or cool tones of white light if you want it more for task lighting as well. Almost every single aspect of this lighting is customizable from the speed at which the colors will change to the direction of their movement. There's actually a ton you can do to customize this kit. I mostly stuck to the scenes and some of the preset options since I found them pretty nice to just leave on in the background and enjoy. You can also match your mood and existing color palette in your room, have the lights be still, or go for the whirl, trip, and spin effects. These lights also work with both the Google Assistant and Alexa for easy voice control. Just link your Govi account to either system and with a couple clicks you can turn them on and off, change colors and Alexa. more. In my testing the voice control worked red. really well and it was fast and responsive. Okay. Overall, these light panels are a stellar addition to my workspace here. They're fun as a backdrop, they give ample ambient light, and they can be bright enough for task lighting, plus there's voice control too. They're easy to set up, easy to control, and with that removable adhesive, they can be repositioned anywhere. I'm really struggling to try and find some downsides, so I guess I'm just going to nitpick and say it would be nice if the kit came with a whole second set of extra adhesive pads instead of the two that I got, just in case I wanted to put it somewhere else, because as it is, I'm not really sure where to get extra adhesives. I'm sure I can probably find them on Amazon, but it's something I'll have to deal with down the road. Overall though, I am thrilled with this lighting kit and I can absolutely recommend it to anyone who wants to add some flair or lighting to their smart home space. Now I haven't seen these launch for sale just yet so I can't tell you the price but I will make sure they are linked up below when they do hit the shelves.
If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to spy.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have. You can, of course, also post them here in comments below. Don't forget that if you are looking for reviews and more tech news, techgadgetscanada.com has all my latest hands-on reviews as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.